a year-round destination for thrill-seekers, explorers, and romantics alike. Bermuda is home to more than 30 beaches distinguished by pink sand, turquoise water, and over 60 miles of pristine coastline. And as host of the 2017 America's Cup, no matter what kind of adventure you seek, Bermuda is overflowing with options. Hydro biking. Yes, it is. Tell me about this. It's thing. basically just a push pedal bike on water. We bought it in last year, and it's been a hit ever since. Hydro bikes have been around since the early 90s and introduced to the island in 2015 by way of native Bermudian and entrepreneur Aaron Williams. And why did you introduce us to Bermuda? For me, it's a good way to help the island, provide jobs. When the camera was just a big wave of excitement for, for locals and tourists alike, it's a good way to see the island. Yeah. Something different, you know? And it's a lot of marine life out there that we guys can check out. So should we jump on these bad boys? I'm up for it, man. Saddle up, partner. <laughs> Here in Bermuda's Daniels Head Beach, the water is warm, calm, and shallow, making for one Bermudaful bike ride. Here I go. Come on, you gotta catch up. <laughs> this is fun. So we can go forward and then reverse. Uh-oh, reverse it on up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's how we do it, son. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey, you ain't getting all this. Look at this water, Aaron. This is awesome. Oh my Absolutely god, awesome. this is beautiful. I think these hydro bikes is a nice little exercise. It is. It is. And good for every kind of skill, it is. every kind of person. Yep. It also caters to uh, a wide variety of ages. I love that these are eco-friendly. Yes, ma'am. I'm all about protecting the environment. Yes, ma'am. Keeping these waters blue and luscious. <laughs> I'm into it. And with a ton of fish and striking shipwrecks within arm's reach, Bermuda is a haven for exploration. I heard there was like 300 ships that have been shipwrecked around yeah, Bermuda. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Because we're surrounded by reefs. People would literally just drive up and get shipwrecked. And just ahead is a shipwreck dating back to the late 1800s, the HMS Vixen. That's actually the tip of the ship. That's the tip of the ship? The tip of the Vixen, yes it is. With temperatures rising and our snorkel gear in tow, we go in for a closer look. I'm halfway into my journey and have only scratched the surface of Bermuda's history of adventure which runs deeper than you think. Bermuda is home to over 200 caves created during the Ice Age as a result of water seeping into the limestone. So as we come up here in this area, mm -hmm. this is where the story begins of the Crystal Cave. Discovered in 1907 by a couple of teens searching for their lost ball in a game of cricket, Bermuda's Crystal Cave is one of the island's most magnificent attractions. Now you're going to look straight up. You're going to see some daylight up there. Whoa. And the daylight that you see, that isn't even the top of the entrance. There is another 40 feet up to the top, and that is where these little boys would have come down from, reaching that water. Wow. It was said that these boys swam in that water in complete darkness. Okay. How what? How old were they? 12 and 13 years old. Those are some brave little boys. So right now, we are down 140 feet underground. And as you look over here now, we're going to see some beautiful formations that hang down from the cave ceiling. Yeah, wow. These formations are cold. Stalactites. Both stalactites and stalagmites are formed by water dripping from the ceiling of caves over millions of years. The only difference is one attaches to the ceiling and the other to the ground. This stalagmite right here stands at 14 feet tall what? and 25 feet of water, which we call the lighthouse. It looks, it doesn't look that tall. It doesn't look that tall because the water is playing an optical illusion with you. That's crazy. How old do you think these are? These stalagmites, they're over 12,000 years old. Wow, they look good for their age. Standing strong. Yeah. <laughs> 